Hello everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're spotlighting another amazing ship from a workshop. Surprisingly today, this isn't a military vehicle or one that contains any weapons to be honest, as far as I can see from here. It is called the Sky Tree Luxury Yacht, something you can really take in the sightseeing on the planet in. So you've got lots of windows on this ship, purely just dedicated to actually looking out. I mean, you've got these little pods on the side here, so I grab the controller to do a few cinematic shots. Got these little pods here, where you can look out on a beautiful planet around you. So the example scenery we have here. Lots of windows to kind of maximise that impact of looking out around the planet. And it kind of has an almost... I don't know what you call the look of it, to be honest. It's almost real, in a way. If Earth was designed a ship, or if humanity was designed a ship at our technology level that could do this, this is what it would kind of look like, almost. It has ion thrusters because it can go into space. Brilliant idea. I think it can go into space. I've not tested that one yet. We'll test that at some point. But all these windows here, and you've got the seats inside over here as we fly towards it. So you can all look out on the brilliant scenery that is around us. Now, if we go in for the inside tour, which I shall just get into F6 mode, come out of a cockpit, and we can take this inside tour. And we, for a minute, I thought the ship was slow, um, floating down. It apparently it is. Hopefully we're not going down too fast. Anyway, if we walk around the side here, we have what I just showed you a minute ago. So we open the door. There's always seats around the side, and vice versa on the other side. Down below, we have a few more cockpits. This is like a command center. You don't really want civilians up here. You can have them up here, but it's kind of a British in charge. We've got cryo tubes in here to support a number of passengers, as well as some air filters. Or vents, whatever you want to call them. A signpost is pointing down. Walking around, we have some elevators there. Or lift shafts, whatever you want to call them. Now here we have um, assemblers. It's designed so if you get in a bit of a sticky situation, you do have something to repair yourself with. And I just love these... Why does that make a noise? Oh, that's a new update, isn't it? I just love these like windows here where you can look into the inner workings of the ship right there. Now, walking into this part here, this is going into a separate pod now. So walking down. Uh, noticed. We've got a pod out here. Now, I, originally, when I first saw these, I thought, does this thing detach? Because I thought, maybe it might have a merge block, but I don't think it does. Sadly. And those things are in a different language. <laughs> so yeah, it sadly doesn't detach. I was kind of hoping it would, so we could uh, grab a fly around, but no, we can't. Anyway, moving on. Uh, there's more chairs and stuff around here, like the other side. But if we move through here, now the other side of the ship is completely the same, so I'm not going to show you over there. But if we just do that and we hey, go down here, we've got some more seats and stuff down here. We've got another cockpit here, just for like, I suppose, this kind of takes us backwards, I think. Does this, this is not main cockpit, we can't control from here. Wait, yeah, yeah, push me back. So yeah, more seats down here, and I think this leads around in like another circle. Yeah, it does, another circle leading around here. I couldn't remember if that was upstairs or downstairs. But in the middle, going in here, we have like, this is another control centre, basically. You've got your medical room down here, your computers to program some blocks, so you've got those LCDs if you want them. And here's the airlock outside. All the air vents out. But yeah, you get the general picture. This ship is built for luxury. Now, I forgot to say who it was built by, I've got a habit of doing that lately, so it should have been a title sequence before this. But if not, this amazing yacht is built by Yinky on the Steam Workshop. Now he says, the Skytree Luxury Yacht. This is a luxury yacht. It's a civilian vessel. It is very suitable for sightseeing. Yes, it is. Oh, there's a door here. We can look out into its buses. Very suitable for sightseeing. Its quality is about 400 tons. I think he means um, the weight. It can also be landed on a planet, so if I go into F8 mode and go down here, we've got this landing gear over here, which allows us to land on planets. Now, how well that will work is yet to be tested. It's got a complete pipe system, which we saw already. We see all the pipes. Uh, on the planet, you can close the iron for us to save energy. We haven't done that for some weird reason. I might have forgotten. Where's the control panel? Oh, too far. There is. There it is. It has a lot of glass to provide passengers the look of the scenery outside the window. So we can just, like I said earlier, all this glass here is to take in the scenery of this beautiful ship and the planet you are on. Because let's be honest, the space Union's planets are beautiful when you look at them. It has some emergency equipment such as assembly machines and a medical room, so that's what I was talking about earlier, the assemblers, you can like survive obviously if you crash land. And he goes, okay, please fashion a seatbelt, 
our ship is about to set out. So, what you guys keep asking me to do more in videos is crash the ship. So that's what we're going to do. So while we're going down at a very intense speed, I'd like to thank um, Yinky for making this awesome build, because we, we haven't got that many luxury yachts on the workshop in a minute. There's been a lot of military vehicles. So I'm, I'd like to see more luxury yachts on the workshop, something I can glide around planets in and show off the sights to my friends. More civilian vessels would be quite good. Then again, everyone likes blowing things up, exactly what we'll be able to do. So you guys wanted this, we're about to crash into a planet, seeing as you guys like this. Let me know if you like more crashes. Hey, why not start a series about crashes? Oh, that didn't do much impact. Oh, I think we just lost the front of our bridge. We did. We still got engines. We still got engines. No, nope, we've lost engines. Can we save it? Can we save it? Come on, roll, roll, roll. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Well, it did pretty well, to be honest. Upside down, it kind of looks like a structure built there. That's weird. A good idea for a base. But there we go, guys. That was the luxury yacht. And you can see it can take quite a rough landing as well. Oh, hey, respect to again. So, yeah, thank you to Yankee for building this massive build, and it's been a pleasure reviewing it. And if you guys have any of your own builds you'd like me to take a look at, make sure to submit, submit them below. Also, I now have a Facebook page you can go and like and keep up to date on the latest videos. As well as, also, I'm currently running a Patreon at the moment to see if subscribers will donate to me in the effort that I can give back to the community. So there's a link to that in the description, go give it a read. If it's not in the description, go check out the main channel page. Um, it should be in about a section there. Thanks for watching, my name's been Captain Jack.